Hey guys, it's Joe here, and welcome to another Model Bus video. Today we are going to be reviewing this bus. Um, I'll tell you more about it when I've opened the box, but as you can probably guess what bus it is. But if you don't, I'm going to tell you anyway. So I'm just going to open the bus, open the bus, open the box, and then... We should be good to go. It's an easy open because I've pre opened it as always, just in case. Just in case, but still hard to open. Sorry for the delay, it just took quite a while to open. Now, this is going to probably be the best um, I can do. Because my camera is still wobbly, as you can see. It's still broken. So, we're going to have to try and get that fixed sometime. But anyway, we've got a collector's card. As always, I'm really struggling today. Got a lot of stuff around. Here we are. So, the collector's card, which has the... Um, name of the bus and the reference number, I'll tell you that in a bit um, they've got a picture of the bus um, and yeah, that's it really also on the back I've got a bit of information on the bus you will not be able to read that because my camera is awful um, but yeah, a bit of information about the bus and the number of this bus which is 428 of a thousand made so quite a high number um but anyway this bus is a right eclipse gemini in the finglands livery um the reference number if you want to go and get one if there's any left <laughs> is um O M four one two two eight A There you go. So that's the reference number. So I've spent a long time talking about nothing as always. Um but what well, let's move on to the front of the bus, shall we? We may as well. You can never see the front. You can never see the front very well, but it'll do, won't it? So on the front, we have got the des destination blind, which is forty-one to Piccadilly and University. We have the Finglands logo on the front as well, and we have the wheelchair and pushchair signs around the area of the destination blind as well. Uh, moving down to the bottom, we have the number plate, which is YX08FMH. Uh, indicators are there, headlights are there, wing mirrors have been separately added on, and so have the um, windscreen wipers, which is very nice. Adds to the detail. Um, and that's just about it, really, for the front. Um... Moving on to the first side of the bus, get that all in, so in the top right we have low fares, which is always very nice to hear, there's low fares, um, we have a fleet number just below the first wheel, I mean just above the first wheel, which you won't be able to see but it's 1795. Um, we've got a petrol cap there as well on the right hand side and we have um, the Finglands um, logo as well in the middle. Uh, moving on to the backish, we have a um, website just above the back tyre. Um, we've got a um, emergency exit. Um, door 
which is always useful. Um, unless the back of your bus is on fire, which has happened recently after Nottingham bus. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Um, yeah, so that's always useful. Unless the back of your bus is on fire, then it's not useful. Um, and there's some vents there as well, which is nice. So moving on to the back, you've generally got the bog standard back to a Gemini bus, really. Um, at the top we've got a, um, what's it called? A window, that's what I need to say. We've got a window, we've got the number 41 and the Finglands logo there. Moving down we've got another window and the fleet number which is 1795 um, we've got the indicators reverse lights and brakes all there as well and we've got the number plate which is YX08FMH like I said at the front moving on to the final side of the bus here we are the final side of the bus. We'll start from the left hand side. We've got the low fares um, sign again, which is always nice because everyone likes low fares, don't they? You know, everyone likes low fares. Um, <clears throat> we've got the uh, doors, we've got the number plate, we've got the destination blind, 41 to Piccadilly there. Um, and we have the wheelchair logo, the blue wheelchair logo, um, which means it's step free access, which is always very nice. Um, we've got the Finglands logo, we have the Finglands website above the back tyre, and we've got a few vents as well. And that is basically it, there's not really much to say about this bus on the sides there's not much branding as such um, but it is a very nice bus I've done a lot of right clips Gemini's and um, but these this one is an older version an older Gemini um, on my other buses I've done um, but I have also I have no idea when this is going to go I've got so many videos to upload. Um, that's why I'm literally doing videos daily, if you've been noticing, on my channel. Um, I've all, I'm also going to the Auto Corner at Wollaton Park um, on Sunday the 5th of June. Um, whenever you're watching this, I don't know when you're going to be watching this, so I'll be doing a video there. I'm not going to be taking photos this time, I'm going to be doing it in like video form, but just, you know, just like filming the bus, you know, instead of doing it in video, so I don't have to add music and probably get a copyright strike. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is just about it, guys, for this bus. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.